Hi, this is Sai Morton with the daily update on Eurofix. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forexpisami.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation on the currency markets and should help you to stay on top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpisami.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Greetings everybody, today guys we'll take a look at the Great British Pound. In general we uh, might, we could say that after the non-farm barrels release the markets across the board have turned to massive action. So uh, you can see how our previous setups uh, have arrived. I mean uh, not just the Great British Pound but also recall what we have said about the Japanese Yen where we have expected for a long period where the market finally will start the upside action. Uh, because the setup uh, has created uh, different patterns, most of this is the butterfly on the Japanese yen that suggested another high and currently still suggests another high on the Japanese yen. But market within the recent month has turned to some not quite clear uh, consolidation, it was really tight, the market just um, has moved nowhere, it just stands flat but non-farm perils released on the previous week has uh, given new impulse for the action and you can see how Japanese yen has accelerated, I mean the currency pair has accelerated to the upside and um, that's another setup that we should keep an eye on. Uh, second is the no New Zealand dollar, so uh, recall what we discussed a couple of, of weeks ago when we said the New Zealand dollar probably will show another move to the downside and should clear out the previous lows but the starting point uh, has been postponed a bit compared to other ana our analysis but finally it has started and uh, it is also the setup that we will keep an eye on in the current week and probably will prepare a next update dedicated uh, to other currencies maybe to the New Zealand dollar, Japanese yen also we see interesting medium term setup on the Canadian dollar so uh, the, the coming uh, months promise to be uh, really interesting uh, and we probably will keep an eye on different currencies uh, but today we will uh, take a look at the British, uh, Great, 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 Great British Pound uh, because uh, it has interesting short term setup, it's mostly tactical but we do not see reason why we should ignore it and uh, why we uh, should uh, miss it and do not try to exploit this thrust downward action on the Great British Pound once again on the euro currency, guys, uh, recall what we have said in our weekly research. We, we, we expected to get at least some minor retracement to the upside. As you can see, uh, an expectation of the Greece conversation, uh, the euro currency just has dropped further and has finally broken, absolutely broken the previous strong support in the monthly chart. Now we traded around 107, so this probably means that uh, our expectation on the further downward action to the parity uh, looks reasonable. Uh, maybe it will not be very fast, but still this will be gradual, but definitely to the uh, parity target. And uh, we will keep an eye on the euro currency, but uh, we will not prepare the updates until we will we will not get some interesting moments that we could use in our trading. So, for example, if we will get nice bounce that will be suitable for the short entering, we will prepare the update until we do not get it and market will just continue to drop further. Uh, in this case, you could uh, follow our longer analysis, longer perspective analysis that we have discussed on the weekly chart, on the monthly chart because we know the target and uh, you will find some chances for taking the position, well that's where it will be good. But now let's turn to the Great British Pound. So recall our trade on the weekly chart, this is the brand by the trade, market has hit target on the previous week even before non-farm payrolls has come. So our target was approximately at 152 probably, the 618 support of that thrust up market even has dropped even a bit lower right here but currently we are mostly interesting the possible retracement off from this thrust action to the downside and the long-term perspective we have uh, a bearish view on the great British pound but in the shorter term perspective in the scalp trade we, we will try to use this thrust down for possible bounce to the upside maybe this will be double repo buy because take a look market right now stands at the, some support it's not really superb support 
So we can see just mostly the may, may, the most valuable moment here is daily oversold. The market could turn to the retracement. Uh, but also take a look. That is the minor, not very significant, 88 deep FIB support. It's right here. Well, if we suggest that market will show approximately the same retracement as it was here, when this was a significant drop down, also very fast, also very strong drop. Here also we have significant drop down. So we assume that market will probably show this uh, kind of the retracement. That will be really not not small move in general. So it's approximately 150 pips to the upside. Maybe it will be a bit lower, but anyway, uh, the context for the possible upward retracement here exists. So now let's take a look at the forward time frame chart when we have the major picture for our analysis. Take a look that market also stands at the monthly pivot support one. And take a look at this thrust down. This thrust down, why I'm interested with this uh, currently thrust, it's very suitable for possible Jodinopoly double repo buying pattern. Because uh, as you can see with this retracement now, market has not reached the 38 resistance. It means that uh, the steam is still in the pot because investors uh, right now still hold the short positions here because retracement not very significant. It, it hasn't uh, led market to the taking profit yet on the short trading. Also, guys, I suspect that we even could use this thrust right from this top. But this, but this will give us greater targets. And uh, initially, I think that let's be focused on the minor targets. It's more realistic. So here we have close above the three by three, close below. It will be preferable if the market will show some a bit deep bottom to give us the definitely and, and clear double repo buy pattern. Uh, and this, if if this pattern will be formed and confirmed. That could lead to the retracement at least to the 50% resistance of the thrust. That's the most common target of the double repo. It stands approximately at 5230 area. This target points on the 5250 approximately. So it, it in general stands in the agreement with the harmonic swing. That's the setup that we'll be watching for on the Great British, Great British Pound right now. So it's really promising and it's mostly tactical because it stands on the intraday charts and mostly is driven not by some fundamentals, some uh, geopolitical geopol policy, but mostly by the pure technical moments that market a bit of extended to the downside is the reaction on the data and, and market participants probably will uh, shift to some profit taking, some consolidation and uh, market could show some retracement to the upside. That's what we'll be watching for here within the today, maybe tomorrow trading session. Also, guys, as I said, uh, right now, situation on the New Zealand dollar on the uh, Japanese yen looks also very interesting. And we will keep an eye on these currencies also.